Imagine a life where you're the master of your money, where each paycheck serves not just to keep you afloat, but to bring you closer to your financial dreams. Picture a world where you're not shackled by the constraints of financial worry, but rather, you're empowered by the freedom it brings. A world where you can take that dream vacation or buy that dream house, not someday, but today. Because, my friends, financial freedom isn't just about being rich. It's about living life on your own terms. It's about making your money work for you, not the other way around. If that's a life you want to lead, stick around as we explore the seven things you need to learn for your financial freedom. First on our list, savings. It's not about how much you earn, but how much you save. The importance of savings cannot be overstressed. It's like a life raft keeping you afloat during financial storms. Without savings, you're like a sailor lost at sea without a compass. But with savings, you're the captain of your financial ship, charting your course towards the horizon of financial freedom. So how can you increase your savings? Well, it's not rocket science, but it does require discipline and commitment. Start by setting a savings goal. Whether it's for a rainy day fund, a vacation, or a down payment on a house, Having a goal gives your savings purpose. Next, make savings a habit. Just like brushing your teeth or going to the gym, make it a part of your daily routine. And remember, no amount is too small. Even if it's just a few dollars a day, it adds up over time. But savings isn't just about stashing money under your mattress. It's about making your money work for you. That's where interest comes in. By depositing your savings in a high-interest savings account or investing it wisely, you can turn your savings into a money-making machine. It's like having a golden goose that lays golden eggs. But what role does savings play in achieving financial freedom? Well, imagine you're climbing a mountain. Your savings is your safety rope, keeping you secure as you ascend towards the peak of financial freedom. It provides you with a safety net, allowing you to take calculated risks without fear of falling. It gives you the freedom to invest, to start a business, or to pursue your passions without worrying about money. In conclusion, savings is more than just a pool of money, it's a powerful tool that can help you achieve your financial goals. It's the key that unlocks the door to financial freedom. So start saving today, and watch your financial future transform before your eyes. Remember, a penny saved is a penny earned, and those pennies can add up to your financial freedom. Second on our list is the magic of compounding. It's the secret sauce that makes your money grow. But what exactly is this magical phenomenon? Let's break it down. Imagine you're a gardener. You plant a single apple seed. In due time, that seed sprouts an apple tree bearing, say, a hundred apples. Each of these apples carries seeds within them. You plant these seeds and soon enough you have a hundred apple trees. This is the essence of compounding, the ability to grow exponentially from a single point. In the world of finance, compounding is the process where the value of an investment increases because the earnings on an investment, both capital gains and interest, earn interest as time goes by. It's the snowball effect where your wealth expands because your earnings generate even more earnings. So how does compounding play a role in wealth creation? Consider this. If you invest $100 today at a 10% annual return, you'll have $110 by the end of the year. Now instead of withdrawing the $10 earned, you leave it in there. The following year, you're not just earning interest on your initial $100 but also on the $10 you earned. This might seem like small change now, but over the years this becomes a mountain from a molehill. The key to making compounding work for you is time. The longer you leave your money in the investment, the more time it has to grow and multiply. That's why it's crucial to start investing as early as possible. Even small amounts invested today can grow into substantial sums over time, thanks to the magic of compounding. But remember, compounding is a double-edged sword. It can work against you in the form of compound interest on debt. So, while you leverage the power of compounding, be mindful of where and how you're investing or borrowing. With compounding, your money works while you sleep. It's your silent partner in the journey to financial freedom. Third on our list is budgeting. It's the roadmap to your financial goals. Now let's talk about why budgeting is so crucial. Imagine you're on a journey. You wouldn't just hop in your car and start driving with no idea of your destination, would you? Well, the same logic applies to your finances. Budgeting is like your financial GPS, guiding you towards your goals. So how do you create a budget? It's not as complicated as it might sound. Begin by understanding your income and expenses. Write down all your sources of income followed by your fixed expenses such as rent or mortgage, utilities and subscriptions. Then list your variable expenses like groceries, dining out and entertainment. Now let's talk about discretionary spending. This is where your wants come into play, and where many people tend to get off track. 
You might want that latest smartphone or a vacation in the tropics, but are these expenses aligned with your financial goals? This is where a budget can help you prioritize. Once you have all your income and expenses laid out, you can start making decisions. You might realize you're spending more than you're earning, or maybe you're not saving as much as you'd like. This is where the magic happens. You can adjust your budget, cutting back on non-essential expenses or finding ways to increase your income. Remember, a budget isn't set in stone. It's a living, breathing document that changes as your life does. Got a raise? Great, adjust your budget. Lost your job? That's okay, your budget can help you navigate through this tough time. Budgeting can also help you prepare for unexpected expenses. Life is unpredictable and having a budget can help you build an emergency fund so you're not caught off guard by a sudden expense. Finally, remember that budgeting isn't about depriving yourself. It's about making informed decisions and aligning your spending with your values and goals. It's about taking control of your money, rather than letting your money control you. So, there you have it. Budgeting, in a nutshell, is about making every dollar work for you. It's about understanding where your money is going and making intentional decisions about how to use it. A well-planned budget is your first step towards financial freedom. It's the blueprint of your financial success. Scene Script Fourth on our list is diversification. It's not putting all your eggs in one basket. Diversification. It's a big word that carries big weight in the world of investing. It's like a buffet spread at a fancy dinner party. You wouldn't just pile your plate with broccoli, would you? No, you'd sample a bit of everything. The succulent roast chicken, the tangy pasta salad, the creamy mashed potatoes. Why? Because each dish offers something different. And together, they create a well-rounded, satisfying meal. In the same vein, Diversification in investing is all about spreading your investments across a variety of assets, industries, and geographical locations. It's about not relying on a single investment to bring home the bacon. Instead, you're spreading your risk across different investments. This way, if one area of your investment portfolio takes a hit, others can help cushion the blow. So, why is diversification important? Well, imagine you're a tightrope walker. You wouldn't walk the rope without a safety net beneath you, right? That's what diversification does. It serves as your safety net in the unpredictable high-wire act that is the investment market. By diversifying, you're not just relying on one company, one industry, or one country's economy. You're spreading your risk and, in turn, increasing your chances of achieving steady, long-term growth. You're giving yourself the freedom to explore different investment opportunities without putting your entire financial future on the line. But remember, Diversification isn't about blindly throwing your money at every available investment. It's about strategic allocation. It's about understanding your risk tolerance, your financial goals, and your investment timeline. It's about balancing your portfolio with a mix of stocks, bonds, real estate, and perhaps even a sprinkling of alternative investments. So whether you're a seasoned investor or just dipping your toes in the financial waters, remember to diversify. It's your best defense against market volatility. It's your tool for building a resilient and robust portfolio. Diversification is your safety net in the world of investing. It's your shield against the uncertainties of the market. Fifth on our list is insurance. It's the umbrella for a rainy day. You've heard it a million times, but have you ever stopped to think about what it really means? Well, let's dive into it. Insurance in its simplest form is a contract between you and the insurance company. You agree to pay a premium, and in return, the company promises to help you shoulder the financial burden if something unfortunate happens. It's like having a good friend who's got your back, but, in this case, it's a friend with deep pockets. There are different types of insurance, each designed to cover specific risks. Health insurance, for instance, covers medical expenses. It's like having a secret stash set aside just for when you or a loved one falls ill. Then there's car insurance, which covers damage to your vehicle and potential liabilities. Imagine having a shiny shield that protects your beloved car from the financial impact of accidents. Homeowner's insurance, as the name suggests, is for homeowners. It covers damage to your home and personal property. It's like having a protective bubble around your dream castle. And let's not forget life insurance. It's a promise to your loved ones that they'll be taken care of financially if you're no longer there to provide for them. It's like leaving behind a treasure chest full of financial security. Now you might be wondering, how does having insurance contribute to financial freedom? Well, think about it. How financially free can you be if a single mishap can wipe out your savings? Insurance is like a financial buffer that absorbs the shock of unexpected expenses, allowing you to focus on growing your wealth instead of worrying about potential financial pitfalls. Insurance is your financial safety net. 
It's the cushion that softens the blow of unexpected financial burdens. It's not just about paying premiums, it's about buying peace of mind and in the journey towards financial freedom, peace of mind is priceless. Scene script. Sixth on our list is retirement planning. It's the long-term game plan for your money. Picture this, you've spent decades working, building a life, and now it's time to hang up your proverbial hat and enjoy the fruits of your labor. But wait, you haven't planned for this moment. Now, you're facing a retirement that's less golden and more copper. Not the most ideal situation, right? Retirement planning is about ensuring that you can maintain your lifestyle and meet your goals well into your golden years. It's about making sure that you're not just surviving, but thriving. It's about putting your money to work so you don't have to. Now, how do you start planning for retirement? Well, it's never too early or too late to begin. If you're young, congratulations, time is your best friend. You have the power of compound interest on your side. Start by setting aside a small portion of your income, and as you grow in your career, increase this amount. If you're closer to retirement, don't panic. It's better late than never. Start by assessing your current financial situation. How much have you saved? What are your expenses? What are your sources of income post-retirement? Once you have these answers, you can create a plan to bridge any gaps. Now here's the million dollar question. How does retirement planning contribute to financial freedom? Well, it provides you with the security of knowing that you're financially prepared for the future. It allows you to live life on your terms without the stress of financial uncertainty. It gives you the freedom to explore new hobbies, travel, or simply enjoy a worry-free retirement. Remember, retirement planning is not just about saving. It's about investing wisely, managing risks, and ensuring you have a steady stream of income even when you're not working. It's about making wise financial decisions today so that you can enjoy a comfortable and secure tomorrow. Retirement planning is not just about growing old, it's about living your golden years with financial peace and security. Last but not least, financial education. It's the tool that empowers you to take control of your money. Imagine you've just bought a brand new car, but you have no idea how to drive. You wouldn't get very far, would you? The same principle applies to your finances. You can have all the money in the world, but if you don't know how to manage it, it won't do you much good. That's where financial education comes in. Financial education is more than just understanding the difference between a debit and a credit card. It's about knowing how money works, how it grows, and how it can work for you. It's about understanding the stock market, real estate, and retirement funds. It's about being able to make smart, informed decisions with your money. But how do you keep yourself educated about finances? Well, there are countless resources available to you. Books, online courses, financial advisors, blogs, podcasts, and seminars are all excellent ways to boost your financial knowledge. And the beauty of it is, you don't need a degree in finance to understand these concepts. With the right resources and a little dedication, anyone can become financially literate. But why is financial education so important? Simply put, it's your ticket to financial freedom. It's the knowledge that allows you to take control of your finances rather than letting them control you. It's the tool that enables you to make smart, informed decisions about your money so you can grow your wealth and live the life you've always dreamed of. So if you're serious about achieving financial freedom, start educating yourself. Read a book, take a course, listen to a podcast. The more you learn, the better equipped you'll be to navigate the complex world of finance. Financial education is the key to unlock your financial freedom. It's the knowledge that gives you the power to make informed financial decisions. So, there you have it, the seven things you need to learn for your financial freedom. From harnessing the power of savings, to understanding the magic of compounding. We've touched on the art of budgeting, the importance of diversification, the value of insurance, the need for retirement planning, and the undeniable power of financial education. Each of these elements is an integral part of your journey towards financial independence. If you found this video helpful and want to learn more about managing your finances, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Remember, your path to financial freedom starts here.